On the Health Watch, shoulder pain is one of the most common reasons that people go to the doctor in the first place, and rotator cuff injuries are one of the most common causes of shoulder pain. Dr. Malika Marshall is here to tell us about a non-invasive therapy that may bring relief to some patients, Dr. Because it's painful. Oh, it is, and I can't tell you how many times I see this in the clinic. So the rotator cuff is a group of muscles and tendons that surrounds the shoulder joint and keeps the upper arm bone connected to the shoulder socket. This group of muscles is easily injured during both work or play. Most cases are treated with rest and painkillers and physical therapy. But a new study out of Tufts Medical Center shows shockwave therapy could be the answer for some. Shockwave therapy involves administering sound wave pulses on the outside of the body. It's been used for years to break up kidney stones, and now doctors in Europe are using it to treat one of the most common shoulder injuries, rotator cuff tendinitis. We found that uh, high energy shockwave therapy is very useful for patients with uh, specifically calcific uh, tendinitis of uh, shoulder. Dr. Ravindra Banuru, a physician okay. scientist at Tufts Medical Center, looked at 28 studies using shockwave therapy to treat rotator cuff injuries. He found that the procedure worked, but only for people who had calcium deposits in their shoulders. This high energy shockwave therapy can treat, decrease the pain, and also improve the function, and also uh, completely uh, dissolve these uh, calcifications. A significant percentage of patients with chronic shoulder pain do form calcium deposits. Usually uh, these kind of calcifications are formed in uh, people who kind of uh, overuse their shoulders, like for example workers who do a lot of lifting and all the stuff, and also like people who uh, play a lot of uh, sports. So for example, tennis players or any racquetball players. Shockwave therapy hasn't been approved by the FDA for use on shoulder pain yet. However, this is a machine that is traditionally used to break up kidney stones. The machine used to treat shoulder injuries would probably look more like this. A few patients who've had it done reported minor soreness or redness, but most patients didn't develop any side effects at all. A welcome change compared to other treatments used to treat the condition, like anti-inflammatory medications, which can upset the stomach, and surgery, which can be painful and carries a risk of complication. We felt like this is more non-invasive because that means you're not opening up anything, and it could cure it. All right, once again, shockwave therapy is not approved for use in the U.S. for shoulder pain, but it could be within a few years. It is approved in the U.S. for other injuries like plantar fasciitis and tennis elbow. So I think it's going to be approved soon. Well, when you have a shoulder injury, you'll do just about anything, especially if it's non-invasive. But what is the shockwave actually doing when they wave the wand over you? So it's a mechanical process. It actually is physically breaking up those calcium deposits. And I asked the doctor, so how many treatments would someone need to have? And right. he said anywhere from one to three, but at least you don't have to go back two or three times a week for six weeks. Right. Or deal with a huge incision. That's right. You know, that's, that's key. All right, Doc. Thanks very much. Thanks.